Captive breeding is a huge part of today's culture. Many zoos, sanctuaries, and wildlife preserves use captive breeding as a way to repopulate certain animals, whether they are endangered or not. Zoos are a part of our culture. They're a part of our community and many other communities. Uh, we have an obligation to the people that come through our gates to help them understand wildlife, to help them appreciate nature, hopefully to help them change their attitudes and behavior so that they are, like all of us, trying to be less impactful on the environment, which is better for animals in the long run. If we're going to do that, if we're going to be successful at this mission, we have to be responsibly and ethically breeding animals in captivity. Groups like PETA claim that captive breeding is misused. Captive breeding is something that I think is misleads people into thinking that they're helping a species by breeding them in captivity when really it's a way to make a profit. I always just encourage uh, you know people to you know do the research you know animals that are that are born in captivity are not doing anything normal to them and I think a lot of people go to zoos more for entertainment than enlightenment. Certainly what happened here back in the 40s and 50s with chimp shows and um, the really horrible old ape house that used to be with all concrete and tiles and nothing natural about it was typical in many zoos at the time. Zoos have all evolved to be far less of an entertainment venue, purely entertainment venue, to be much more of an educational mission. Um, surely people still come to the zoo and want to be entertained and expect to be entertained, but we want that entertainment of people to come uh, by seeing animals do what animals do naturally. What people don't realize is things like the chimp show, which they love, seeing chimps in clothes, riding ponies and tricycles. It's horribly, horribly abusive to those chimps. So for us, we made a big change from the chimp shows of the 40s and 50s to what we do now. The Detroit Zoo is home to 3,300 animals in more than 280 different species. Zoos have come a long way from the ways of the past. Zoos used to exist just to entertain people, and animals came from the wild whenever we needed more animals. Um, and now, uh, both because many animals, it's just not possible to get animals from the wild, and also because ethically many of us don't believe we should be taking animals from the wild. We have to rely on breeding animals in captivity to sustain zoo populations. For many species of animals, this is also necessary because some of these species could someday maybe go back to the wild. That's not true for many species in captivity, uh, but for some species, captive breeding could end up uh, repopulating the wild. I don't want to see any animals go extinct. And I think that, you know, breeding animals in captivity is not helping the problem. I think if people really want to help animals who are on the extinction list, they need to focus on habitat protection and protecting their homelands. And, you know, breeding them in captivity, these animals are never going to be re-released re into the wild. If they're born in captivity and raised that way, they lose all of their ways of living in the wild. They don't survive on their own. So I don't think that's ever going to help this, a species that's on the extinction list. The statement is not true uh, for AZA accredited zoos, many of whom are taking part in programs for very small species that nobody ever sees. We and many other zoos are part of a release program for several species of toads, for example, which are ni neither large nor charismatic, uh, but they're very important populations and these animals are being returned to the wild every year. Captive breeding is important for some things, yes. We, like many other zoos, though, don't do it frivolously. At one time in their history, zoos did it. Anything that wanted to breed could. And that resulted in there being a huge problem with too many animals in zoos. And then bad things happen to animals when there's no home for them. Captive breeding that is responsibly and ethically done absolutely has a place in, in our culture and in the conservation of some species. For PBS News, our student reporting labs at Granby High School in Norfolk, Virginia, and Fraser High School in Fraser, Michigan, this has been Joe Picorni reporting.